So we've got a relatively short question here. State four elements that are needed by living organisms other than the big three, the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and giving one roll of each. So not too bad. Um, easiest way to do this would be to draw a nice table, and you'll be able to draw a much nicer table than I can. But let's talk about the elements here, as well as their role. So the first one is that we that we need to notice is that um, we can't do carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So how about we do something like phosphorus? So phosphorus is an element which is found in DNA. It's that little circle in the nucleotides, if you remember. So we can quickly draw this on the side. We've got our nitrogenous base here, which is given by the rectangle, as well as this, the ribose. And then attached to here is the phosphate. And this is a nucleotide. This is, a, this is our nucleotide. Okay. So phosphorus is found in, found in DNA or the genetic code. Okay, so phosphorus, what else is there? So every time I think of phosphorus, for some reason I also think of sulfur as well. So sulfur is found in a couple of amino acids as well. It's found in cysteine and methionine. So is component of proteins. So if you want to be fancy and remember it, you can say, for example, cysteine plus methionine, but this is completely optional, completely optional. What else is there? So another one that I think about is iron. Iron's another element, and iron is found in hemoglobin, which is in the red blood cells. It makes your red blood cells red. So found in So we've done one of the metals. So how about another metal? How about sodium as well? So if you haven't learnt yet, sodium is one of the small molecules that is involved with uh, nerve propagation. So every time that you feel pain, for example, you have sodium molecules going in and out of your, of your axons, of your nerve cells. So involved in nerve propagation. or impulse propagation, nerve impulse propagation, nerve impulse propagation, okay? So we've got our four basic ones there, but let's think of a couple more. And one of the big ones that you might hurt here, depending on where you live, is calcium. Calcium's an important one. Where, cal where does calcium come in? Well, it's found in your bones. Found in bones. However, apart from bones, it's also uh, used in synaptic transmission. There you go. So there's a five and you can select any of those four. These are probably the easiest ones to remember. And if you can do that, then you'll easily get full marks on this short question. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.